mean, it's good to know that there's a place I can go to school for. And plus, it's a lot nicer than the old place. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. And then we get, like, like, computers instead of textbooks, so that's even better. Don't have to worry about hauling around 60 pounds of books. You just got a five pound computer. So I'm pretty excited. My story is kind of different than a lot of people's. I mean, the tornado hit our house pretty hard and it actually completely destroyed it. And it killed my parents and it killed the two dogs that were with us. And it injured me severely where I was in the hospital for five and a half weeks. And I had a fractured skull, a shattered orbital bone, a shattered spine, and my left leg had the muscle in the front blown completely out of it. So I have skin grafts on my left and right leg right now. I was so heavily medicated, I don't know, I don't remember the first few weeks in the hospital. But I know they mixed up my name at Freeman when they were doing my triage. And so when I woke up in St. John's in Springfield, I gave him my correct name and my dad's cell phone number. And luckily, my sister had my dad's cell phone and it still worked. And so my personal nurse texted Grace and they texted my dad's cell phone number and they found out I was alive. It was great getting out of the hospital. It was, it's so much better being out of there, and the food tastes so much better when you're out. I was the first person to leave the burn unit in St. John's in Springfield out of the three people that were there. I was just bound and determined to get out of that hospital. I'm living with my sister in Neosho right now, but during the school week, I'll be living in Joplin with my best friend. I didn't really want 15 minutes of fame, but I, I knew that my story could help people to move on in their lives and, you know, it could give them courage and it's a sign of hope, like what I went through and how I'm dealing with it. Um, a lot of people, it says it changes their lives and it gives them a new perspective on life and how they want to, you know, do everything right the way that, and that they can and be the better person that they should have been. Like I used to just take each day like it was given to me, but now it's not. It's something that, you know, it's a gift. And then you gotta pray for the next one because you don't know if you're gonna be here or not for that day. And don't give up hope. Don't let sadness depress you. If you're depressed, you will never heal. You'll just keep getting worse and worse and worse. Always look on the bright side and always Pray to get stronger each day. If you're in physical therapy and they tell you to walk, always take that extra step.